This video contains content sponsored by John Wilson Blades and MK Blades. Opinions discussed in this video do not reflect the views of John Wilson or MK. All right, so Haven and Brandon, we haven't seen you in about a year and a half, I guess, when you last compete. How are you feeling going into this competition? Um, I'm still really excited. Um, right now, it's just all about like uh, going out there, and um, I think mostly for us, uh, just feeling like doing no more but no less than what we do in practice, um, and just going out there and feeling really confident. I guess what has been the I guess the easiest part of getting stuff back after the injury and the hardest part of getting things back? Um, I think like right when I started skating again, um, you know, it was just very basic, just like stroking <laughs> crossovers and stuff like this. Um, lifts came back, I think the easiest for us, um, most natural. Um, and then very, very slowly started doing throws and jumps, and it's still been um, a, a process. I started jumping fully, um, like clear okay in May. So it's kind of like getting my jumps and throws back, and then on top of this being doing it in a program in a competition. So it's been challenging, um, but we just try to keep on. Uh, <laughs> what did you focus on while she was off the ice, and how did you stay motivated during that time? Well, I had the privilege to be able to go work with Marina Zueva in her camp uh, for about four to five months. Um, what started off um, just going there for about a month actually planned, and then when the, we actually had more information about the recovery process and how long it was going to take until she could the ice again, I stayed in Canton and worked um, with her and her entire coaching team. and. You know, like it was, you know, time very well spent. As much as as eager as I wanted to return and train and stuff, it was something that I look back to to this day and realize, hey, there was a blessing out of this whole. You know, obviously it was a nightmare incident, but um, there was some blessing for myself as a skater. Time to again to go to Grand Prix and high level competitions, especially coming back from the World Championships. Hearing Brandon, you have to move more, you have to look, you have to skate basic skating skills, and that when you're training for these big competitions, you don't really dissect these things uh, as you know. I mean, as professionally as she was able to do, Marina Zueva was really able to rip everything apart and rebuild. So I had the opportunity to take real time to get back to basics. Do you see a big difference? Um, absolutely. Before? Absolutely. What would have been the, if I may say, the enhancements? <laughs> yes. Um, you know, Vernon's always been like my rock. You know, when I'm skating, he's always been um, presenting me and, and I feel like he's like the best partner in that way. Um, I think now um, I'm skating with him. He has his his own style now, and I feel like he's just like really being himself out there and very um, natural like movements that he's doing and um, you know working with Karina. Um, I think that he really it really opened his eyes. <laughs> And um, yeah, I think he's just uh, he's getting more free. Chicago. And you know, you've had a, a lot of great coaches. You've been lucky Absolutely. in your in your life. Uh, and now you're working uh, with Rockney and Stefania. And what do you think they are they're bringing to your skating? Uh, what what are they been focusing on? I think what they've done a great job. You know, like you just said, we have had the privilege of working with some incredible minds and building us. And you know, we are not like a young junior, first year senior team anymore. You know, and even though we came back from a year off, we're right. still yeah, continuing. We'll learn everything. Yeah, we're still. <laughs> yeah, and I would say the best thing about what Rocky and Stefania do, I mean, alongside of their technical, I think they're very strong there. I mean, they are great managers, and uh, they really know how to. And that's what I think Haven and I were really meeting after this whole process happened to us, which is someone to be able to put us on a process and a training plan to keep us contained. Because sometimes we can be a wildfire in the sense of just working when you have to be patient with some things. And they've done a great job uh, keeping us exactly where we need to be every day and every step along the way. So it's been a pretty well, You're coming off a pretty solid competition uh, in Europe. Um, you know, obviously you want to be better. I mean, what would you really like to improve? Uh, I would just say, you know, like, 
in Slovakia we made some uh, some technical errors. Nothing crazy, but uh, we you know we're still coming back. You know, and Haven and I together can both safely say that we are taking it day by day and obviously we want to do well and our biggest goal and this is going to sound cliche because it is what we do in practice but that's the only thing that's gotten us to this point today from the injury was every day in practice we've just been doing what we've planned no more nor less don't overthink don't overdo just do what we're our bodies are telling us to do and just strive and stay motivated and that's really all we can do well, the top, the, the top teams in the world are doing quads, you know, harder triples. Had you started working on that before? Are you working on them now? I guess, where are you in the learning process for yeah. those? Um, before the injury, um, like we got back from Worlds and we had like a, a list of like element goals and I think within like the first two weeks we were like, check, we did, check. Uh, we, <laughs> like, we were just on the yeah. verge of being able to throw quads out. Um, we had a little bit of Fingo story where we had to throw triple axle just ready to pop. Everything was there. Um, and then, well, he even sneaked up. And, uh, no, but um, no, when, when we came back, it wasn't, you know, obviously the top teams in the world are doing quads, and that's why they're there. They're at the top. But right now, we are just trying to do what we can to stay on track. And right now, we're going to do everything that we have in our program, the best of our abilities. And when we get going again, we're definitely going to start pushing these. And double axles are in this? Side. Yes. Yeah. Triple side, double tone, just double axles. How, how confident do you feel in your knee? Is it? Um, you know, ligament wise, everything is 100% there. Um, so I'm, I'm feeling very confident um, physically. Uh, yeah. <laughs>